kind of how I do this. Um, so, and he was a good guy. He was he was a good preacher. He wasn't like a touchy feely preacher. He was just like a down to earth normal dude. Um, but they geared me since I was a kid to become a preacher. And I think this is why I wasn't molested as a kid because they were like, well, he's a talker, so like. And have you seen the way he handles the collection plate? It's all awkward. We don't want any of those handies whatsoever. Um, <laughs> but yeah, that's how I grew up. Um, and now that I do this, I, I also work in film and TV. I'm a writer by trade. Um, the thing that's bothering me right now is uh, we have a lot of fucking mediocre assholes becoming famous for no reason. Kim Kardashian's butt photo shuts down fucking the internet. I read that two days ago. I'm like, really? A photo of her butt? Um, I'm pretty sure what actually shut down the internet was the photo of her butt and then everybody going to YouPorn or Spankwire and watching that same ass get filled by a big black cock. Because I can watch that for free. I don't have to go out and buy a nine dollar print magazine to look at Kim Kardashian's butt. I can get I can watch her get filled out like a fucking application for free. Free Like I took your old lady out last night. Oh, uh, Ron, I swear to God, I'll fucking skin you like Boba Fett with that Chewbacca outfit. <laughs> fucking, fucking Wookiee towel right here off the shoulder blade, sir. You're not even coming here. <laughs> so, uh, airlines are weird. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Um, so, uh, the other thing is, uh, like, going on the Kardashian thing is, the other thing that pissed me off was Paris Hilton throat fucks a dude in Night Vision, she gets a TV show, really? So now, because of that, I have to watch her and her squawking twat, illegitimate daughter of Lionel Richie, yes, it's not her actual daughter, uh, Rodia has got fucked a girl and he adopted her, but now I have to watch these two go all over middle America and treat people like dog shit. It's horse shit. When people like Dwayne and the three comedians and other people out there come up here and actually work on shit, drives me fucking insane. I hate it. 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 So I'm single again, after all that, you can probably tell why, I've yelled at a lot of people here that I didn't even tell why I'm single. Oh yeah, you can have all this. Really cheap. Oh yeah, I'm single. What are you doing later? Oh, you got Complete, really? I'm totally single. You look like such a I am. Like, it's this? Money maker. I know. Um, <laughs> what's that? It's just, in and out, man. In and out. Um, but yeah, single again, uh, I got back into the, the dating scene, um, which is really weird. I've done a lot of online dating, and I know Carrie Ann brought up Tinder, which I've looked at Tinder, but I don't really like it because uh, my ex-girlfriend and I had a gay roommate. So I've been opened up to Grinder and Squirt. Grinder and Squirt makes Tinder look like fucking Womper Room. It really does. If you're a gay dude and you're on your phone like Tinder, oh, I like you. I don't like you. I like you. I don't. That's it. Grinder and Squirt, you can be on your phone and be like, I want to fuck. <laughs> and then scroll through your phone and it will actually use the GPS on your phone to be like, I'm going to fuck this dude. He wants to fuck. He's on here. And bang, done and done. If, they were, if Tinder actually did the same thing, I can guarantee I would go on my phone and it would be every other guy in the bars doing the same thing, which is, this person wants to fuck, oh, that's a dude. This person wants to fuck, oh, that's a dude. This person wants, oh, shit. Like, no women would ever use Tinder the way Squirt and Grinder works. Ever, 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 ever. Although the one thing I will give out that I have enjoyed from the uh, video or the internet dating thing is the amount of boob shots I've gotten in like the last fucking three months. It's incredible. Like it's 
incredible. Anyone here? Any girl? Ever? Ever give a boob shot at on the internet? Yeah! Thank you. And you know what I've decided to do? Me and my other single friends are actually going to start a trading card company. <laughs> now, I'm good with Photoshop. I'm not going to show your face. I'm not magical. <laughs> We're just going to go with the rack. And then on the back, it will have, like, your stats. Like, this one gave a good blowjob. This one's crazy. Um, and all the way down. They're like, age, fucking... Kind of like now we have a group putting up the trading cards where you're like, okay, like she's good to go, she's not, she's good to go. But the one thing I had, like I wanted to approach Opeachy about it because growing up being a Canadian kid, Opeachy is the biggest hockey card company in, in Canada. Um, but I'm also a big nerd, so and I'm old enough to remember like upper deck hockey cards, which were super nice in the foil package and like nine dollars a pack that's where i want to roll with that now i will be honest there's a there's a few i've gotten recently that i'm going to keep on my own and those are that'll be like your you know your wayne gretzky rookie card like you have it and no one else has it and you'll trade those back and forth I'm working on it, you know, it'll come to fruition, I'm pretty sure. Um, I'm sure there's some sexual harassment case in there somewhere. But, you know, welcome to the real world. So yeah, um, I'm still in contact with my ex-girlfriend. Um, we're still good friends, we were friends for 10 years before we got together, and now, now we've split up. Um, but we're, we're still talking, and she's keeping me updated on what she's doing. And what she's doing right now is her new hobby is axe throwing. <laughs> now, my hobbies are video games, comic books, watch movies. I'm a big foodie. I like to go out and, and, and eat a lot. And I know it doesn't look like I eat a lot, but it, that's what I like to do. Um, so I get, I get a, a text message. She's like, oh, I'm going out axe throwing. And all I'm doing is going back to every fight we ever had in our relationship. Because she's still doing the, maybe we could get back together at some point. And all I'm thinking now, the amount of times I've dodged a plate, a glass, or a salt shaker, now it's going to be like, bang, dead. Like, that's what's going to happen? No, I think we're pretty good. Like, I don't think that's going to... Um, I'm going to go home and uh, just play Grand Theft Auto and order Thai. Uh, I think that's going to be my life right now. Um, speaking of video games, uh, which is one of my big passions, which is... Uh, I, I'm a huge fan of Grand Theft Auto. Anyone? Anyone huge fan of Grand Theft Auto? Oh, Jesus Christ, I love that game. Like... Love it, love it, love it. Um, I'll give you the best gaming experience I've had in the last two months. And I've been playing since the original, like, top few Grand Theft Auto. Um, so, the thing I love about it, it is it's a complete virtual world. Um, I get to do whatever I want, go out and, you know, rob banks, do whatever. Um, but you can go on dates in it. And you go out on a date, and you meet the right girl, and you go out. So I go out, and I go to the store, and I buy a nice shirt, I buy a nice pants, I buy everything, and I go and pick up my date in the game. And the first thing she says in the car is, I don't like that shirt, it's ugly. <laughs> so I got out of the car, and I shot her in the fucking face. <laughs> now... <laughs> No, look, bitch, I'm playing this game to escape from reality. I don't need your uh, dis uh, discretion of what I'm wearing in HD or in surround sound audio. So, but the weird thing is, the girl I shot in the face is part of the storyline. So, I shoot her in the face with a sawed-off shotgun, and she's like, you're acting weird, and runs down the street. And I'm like, no, you're acting weird, because I just fucking shot you in the face, you stupid video game bitch. Ah, oh, goodness, goodness, goodness. So, um, I'm going to try and keep this quick. I, I tend to ramble, so, um... The, uh, the other thing, I, I mentioned Tinder and Squirt before and having a gay roommate, and I realized recently, well, not even recently, 
If you have, a, this is for the guys out there, if you have a gay friend, it is bar none the best wingman you will ever have in your life. Bar none. Uh, even if you go to Lavish or any other gay bars with them, there's a ton of hot straight girls who go there to dance to not get harassed by average dudes like me who are just looking for pussy. Um, <laughs> But if you walk in there with a gay dude, like, oh, this is my roommate, he's really nice, like, he'll grab her boobs first and be like, feel them. And the girl will be like, okay, so you get to grab some titty, like, it's fucking nice. It's really nice. And because you're with a gay guy, you're immediately unassuming. Like, you're not, like, I'm not here to get ass, but I'm here to get ass. But that doesn't come off, because you're with a gay guy, oh, no, that's a really nice guy, he's really good, he's really awesome. Um, no, it's amazing. Um, I, I don't get a lot of dates right now. Uh, the last time I got um, hit on was actually here uh, by a gay deaf guy. Um, but how it happened was I was standing at the bar and... Um, is this good? Did I hit my mark? We all right? Okay. Where was I? All right, we're good. Um, so I was here standing at the bar and um, give me a minute. Gay deaf guy. Funny. Gay deaf guy. Oh, I got it. <laughs> so we're standing at the bar, and I just see this dude writing notes. And hand, our bartender, Kate, remember to tip Kate. Always tip Kate. Um, no worries, buddy. Um, but Kate was working, and I see this dude passing notes back and forth. Now, I used to manage uh, the tattoo shop on Warncliffe. Uh, True love. True for like three years. Um, and there was a deaf kid who came in and wanted a tattoo. And uh, Oh, quick side note before I finish this story. I managed the tattoo shop. I did payroll. I ran the front. I did all the orders and ran the front counter. So when this set's done, don't come outside and talk to me and show me your live, love, laugh or whatever sequence of those three words you have. The dandelion turning into the birds or say sweet tribal bro, which no one has ever seen. Because if you find a tattoo on Pinterest, it's not original. So, back to the story. Uh, I'm standing here, and I thought it was the same kid, and this guy's looking, like, we make eye contact, and I give him the nod, because I'm a friendly dude, and I'm like, oh, it's probably the same deaf kid. And we start going back and forth on my phone, because I don't have pen and paper, so we're using the notes on uh, my iPhone. And we start going back and forth, and we're just chit-chatting, he's like, so, what are you doing? And I'm like, oh, I'm just hanging out here, having a beer, visiting Kate. Next que question I get, you single? And I'm like, yeah, my girlfriend, this is like three days after my girlfriend and I split up. Yeah, yeah, I'm single, my girlfriend and I just split up. Next question, are you gay? <laughs> no, um, I'm what's known as an ally in the gay community. I've marched in pride because I have a lot of gay friends because who gives a shit what you do in the bedroom? I could give a fuck. As long as you're not hurting an animal or a child. Ooh, I'm okay. Um, let it go. So, we're sitting there, and as the conversation, the conversation gets, like, heated really fast. Like, he's unrelenting. Like, maybe he'd come over to my place. Now, I know he doesn't sound like that, because he's deaf. He probably sounds like Marley Matten from Children of the West of God, which would be more like, I don't know why deaf people talk like they don't have a tongue, but apparently they do. Um, so, going back and forth, they asked me if I was go. Say yeah. Do you want to come to my place? No, I don't want to come to your place, dude. Are you sure? We can just, we can just hang out. And I'm like, well, dude, we can hang out any time. We can go get coffee. You seem like a good guy. We can totally hang out any time you want. But I'll suck your cock. Well, that, that's really awesome. I appreciate the compliment, but still straight. Now, having enough gay friends curiosity picks up in me. So my text back is, so uh, are you a top or a bottom? Now, for those of you who don't know what that means, a top gives it, a bottom receives it. The reason I asked was, I don't know, four or five beers later? If I'm fucking him in the ass, I don't care. Sometimes I like a finger in my ass when I get a blowjob. Like, who knows? It could work out. 
But it didn't. I let him go. And I think about it every day. My name's Matt McCallum. You guys have a good night.